Alright, I just wanted to make sure that I, uh... ...dodged that guy's shots, because I know these guys are gonna do fuck tons of damage. Stun! Give me the blood, friend! Oh, jeez. I'm on fire! I'm on fire! This is bad! This is bad! This is bad! This is bad! Huh, <sighs> just heal myself. My biggest thing right now is my stamina usage. I use up uh, stamina so fucking fast trying to get out of the way of attacks. And that is getting me in trouble when I run out. How about you? Do you have a friend, Prewin Gunner, level 8? Because if not, I think you're going to die. Uh oh. Hey, man, how's it going? Ow. I just wanted to stun him. Oh my god, what the fuck? He just tanked that! Okay. Why? Why did my claw do so little damage to this level 10 guy? It's because he's like a heavy gunner. The prick. Right. Ow! One more hit. There we go. At least he didn't one shot me. I'm leaving. I'm going back to the hospital. I I'm way further out than I need to be. And at first I was like, oh, this isn't so bad. These guys are pretty easy. And, you know, for the most part, they are. And then you run into a guy who has like apparently like over a thousand health. Or at least over like 700, 800 health. It didn't really have a number there. I was just hitting shit for 200, and then the guy's like, eh, whatever, I don't care. What you said? And that's never good. At least for HG Griffins. I'm not talking about these guys. These guys still seem to have a reasonable level of health. So that's not so bad. Ooh. Stunning. I've definitely found out the importance of having a weapon that can, uh, drain blood, though. Especially if I can get my weapons up to a point where they super drain blood, that'd be great. Like, every single hit allows me to get an ability back. Ugh. That'd be awesome. Alright, boys. I didn't want to keep on fighting you guys on my way back to the hospital, but no, y'all motherfuckers had to respawn. My little rats. This is despicable. I need them. I have this thirst for blood. I'm gonna keep feeding it too. I have to. Otherwise, we'll die. There's too many threats out here in the night. All right, let's find out who's spying on our mistress of the night. I'm expecting them to be, like, looking through a window. I want it to be like a mannequin. They're looking at me, they're watching me when I'm in the garden! And it's just nothing. I see... I thought I saw a drawer lighting up there, but I guess it was just the lighting in general. Hmm. What's going on up here? There there are some Pruins checking the area out by the looks of it. How do I get to them? Through the back door? Ah, here you go. 
She's actually being watched by vampire hunters. That's funny. Are they gonna talk about it? Determine what the Prewood agents have discovered. You got it! I didn't do as much damage as the other one. That's what it's like to fight enemies more around our level. Half your health isn't gone. Wow, that's crazy. Alright. Survey mission, October 25th. Object, vampire activity, hospital, survey, investigate. Three days ago, one of our new recruits heard a rumor about the presence of a female vampire hiding in the Primbrook Hospital, London East End. All we have is her first name, Thelma. Your mission is to discreetly go there and observe any suspicious activity concerning said leech. Then report directly back to us. And we will decide what action should be taken. Alright, well, the bad news for her is that, uh... Now that I've killed these guys, they might actually treat her like a real vampire threat. That's hilarious. And unfortunate. Wrong target. Find the local command post of the guard, Pruin. Okay. Well, thankfully we have a marker for it. I guess we're just gonna cross the street. Cross the bridge. <laughs> so now we don't have to worry about it as much because we took out the command post. Well, we're going to at least. Enter at your own risk. District status. <sighs> Serious. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Holy shit. Level 18 scowl, huh? Oh my Christ. Treat him like HG Griffin. He might be a normal enemy. Who doesn't have the capability. I'm teleporting behind me and doing shadow attacks, but he can still destroy my health. Ooh, I got stuck on the geometry there. Alright, that's like our one... Okay, no, wait. Yeah, no, that's our one blood attack that we're gonna get in. I don't know if that stuns me. Oh, shit! I got stuck on the wall. Almost did it again. Oh, he got his health back. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm taking my leave. Level 18. What the fuck? Can I still get to those guards without dealing with the level 18 scowl? Okay, see? These guys are level 10. Why the f Fuck, is there a level 18 scowl just down the hallway from these guys? Oh, Jesus. Alright, I gotta deal with the fire dude first. Or he'll do that and I'll die. Oh boy. Okay. I'm 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 pretty over dealing with higher level enemies. But if I can kill these guys, I can finish the last of the available citizen investigations that are here right now, and I can get I can move the fuck off. Logically, I have already killed the people watching over over the area. So, it'd be very suspicious if nobody reported back in. A whole day could be the mean, could be the difference between life or death. All 
All right. There. Whew. Got what I needed. Killed the fire arrow, dude. Don't have to worry about that as much. All right. Clearing out the uh, the small target first. Ow. Ooh. Ow. I think I'm gonna die. Okay. Whoop. That attack is so scary. Okay. Your friends are dead. What are you gonna do about it? Probably kick my ass. Yeah, give me some more health. I'll even use my actual healing. Because it's not like I'm gonna be able to use the attack anyways. Okay, I need stamina. If I have around the guy, I don't have to worry about his charge attack. Or his shooting attack. What? Excuse you? You should be stunned, sir! Huh. Okay. That wasn't the local command post? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's three of them now. This is for Thelma. Steal the reports leading to the Pembroke Hospital. I could stealth through here, but I don't have stealth abilities, so I'm kind of fucked in that Cross regard. The leaf, boys. Oh shit. Excuse me, coming through. Doors locked. That's not good. I'm trying to see if I can just steal the reports. This is a bad place to be. Okay, so I can't just swoop in, grab the report, and ditch? Oh, it's on this guy's body! Fuck! Oh, fuck me, the fire's gonna ruin everything. Hey guys! <laughs> Look, let's have a conversation about this. I am a vampire. That much is confirmed. I, I'm not hiding this from anyone. I, I just want you guys to know that I'm doing this for a good purpose. You guys actually have the wrong target. I'm the vampire around here. Okay, Thelma, she's just... She's just a little rough in the head, okay? She thinks she's a vampire. Down to her core, but she's not! Uh, and I, I just don't want you to, to end up killing her. Which would be really unfortunate. I'm leaving the confines of this space. <laughs> it's not a good place to be. If only I could lead the level 18 vampire to the people. I could have tried. I just didn't bother. Hey. Hey, your friends are gone. That's unfortunate. They're taking their sweet time and getting out here. Which is great for me. Oh, fucking fire. I wish I could roll on the ground and put that out or something. Okay, that's one down. Three more to go. <laughs> Look at them. Aha! Oh, I actually think I could have stunned them there. Okay, I can hit him with one more stun and he'll be knocked out. Ooh, 
Ooh, that was a good hit. Alright, I hit both of them with that. Ow! Shit! Wasn't expecting to get fucking shot right there. E. Yep, just get stuck on the corner. Thought of that. Alright, recovering stand. Can't spin my stun attack all the time. Just most of the time. Okay. Oh, fucker. He did a quick jab. That's dangerous. Hold on, I'm breathing, I'm breathing, I'm breathing. I wonder if all enemy stun bars are gonna be like this forever. Like, uh, hey, they're very low in terms of the overall number necessary to inflict this stun. Cause that'd be great. I'd love to reach the end game and enemies still only have like, oh, we got seven bars. Hit him seven times with the stun and and he'll actually be stunned. That's that'd be nice. Huh. <sighs> okay. Killed these guys. I think I have uh I think I can get the report now. Okay, so it actually wasn't on this dude's body. It was up here. Use Pruin Steak. Level 15. That is really... Or, level 15 stun. That's really disappointing. What about... This. Okay, it actually does have a higher one... ...than my normal one. My normal stake, with no real... Ah, uh, you know what? It's five more stamina for fifth Or, for one more stun. Or, five more stun. That's actually fine with me. You know what? I'll take that. Offhand, change. Swapping to the used Pruin stake. Now let's see what we got about this. Report about Pembroke. Sir, having observed the Pembroke Hospital for two weeks now, we can confirm vampire activity there. First, we now have proof of the presence of a female leech inside the hospital. The beast is clever. She acts like a mental patient to hide her true unholy condition. I personally sneaked inside the hospital and heard the creature whining about her need for blood since her body is decaying. But it gets worse. The administrator of Pembroke Hospital is Dr. Swansa. According to our team, our team leader, Amanda Tilton, who died yesterday in a fight against the skull by the canal, he may be a member of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. If that's true, then there may be something big going on at the Pembroke. Maybe even a nest of vampires? Protected by those bloody traitors of the stole? We don't know what to do, but we are convinced you better come quickly with reinforcements and heavy gear. Oh, no, 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 can't have that. They think she's a vampire... still. Just because she talks about wanting or needing blood. Did anyone ever try to, like, shine a light through the window or something when she's asleep? Surely we need a little bit more than, oh, I need blood. Ooh. It'd be hilarious if she does turn out to be a vampire, though. All right, reassure Thelma Hawcroft about the spies. Uh, you were right. There are people out there who think you're a vampire. You have been being, you've been watched this entire time. Yeah, we're gonna leave that skull alone. Leave the skull alone. No need to... No need to fight it. Not until later. Can't believe there's a level 18 enemy just like right around the corner from the hospital. Am I supposed to be like devouring the souls of everybody? Jesus. Okay. Let's talk to some people. Mortimer! Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Here's your letter. I have retrieved your letter, Mr. Goswick. I can assure you that nobody read it but me. Thank you. <clears throat> this is for you, then. For your help. And for your silence. I think you should talk to your mother. It would be good for both of you. Thank you, Dr. Reed. <clears throat> I'll think about it. Now, please, let me be. All right, buddy. I've read your letter. And so I'm not letting you be. I've read your letter, Mortimer. You wrote about an unbearable feeling of despair while the world crumbles around you. 
Tell me more about it. There's nothing more to say, really. It's hurtful, it's unbearable, and I don't ask anyone to understand what I feel. Ooh. Despair is a deadly poison, you're a lucky man, and pain is a precious tool. I don't know about you're a lucky man, that feels like it's actually going to turn out to be a really bad answer. How about pain is a precious tool? The world is bleak. But maybe the pain we feel is the best compass for making it a better place. How can we repair the world, Dr. Reed, when mankind is the biggest problem? Yes, the world will be a much better place when we're gone. Or we can work on making a better place while we're here. You see, you take yourself out and uh, you can't really make... You can't really improve mankind. You just kind of go, Oh, well, if I've killed myself... I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. I'm all right. Don't I've killed time. myself. Then mankind, who doesn't deserve to be here, will be better off. Because that's one less human fucking it up. Now, come on, man. I don't know anything about you, so I don't actually know what you contribute to, to the world. But I want you to exist. So if we can help him out, that'd be nice. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? Still very, very, uh, very depressed. Mortimer is extremely vague as to his motivations for committing suicide. Tell me more about what you know. As you say, Mortimer had no reason to die. All he said to me was that he wanted to make the world a better place, but couldn't. Oh, really? Why did your son feel so useless when facing the world? I think it was more that he could only see the melancholy facets of life. He couldn't help but dwell on such things. What do you think he meant by making the world a better place? Mortimer has always been a sensitive soul. He wouldn't talk to anyone for months after his father passed. It's like he carries everyone's sadness with him. That would definitely cause you to be pretty depressed. Oh boy. I have read your son's suicide note. It was not an impulsive gesture, nor was it his first attempt. He threatened to kill himself a few times before. But I never thought he would dare to punish me this much. Punish you? Why? I've known for a long time he was not happy with his life. But I always hoped he cared enough to avoid making me suffer like this. Okay, that's a very much more selfish view on it. Oh, he's making me suffer. Yeah, he's trying to kill himself to stop the world from suffering. It's, it's a very sick mindset. That, that, that doesn't help there. Do you realize your son could try to kill himself again? He might succeed next time. I think about it every minute. But I won't stop fighting for my son's future. That's how much I love him. Can I, can I do anything? You are in denial. <laughs> Prepare for the worst. <laughs> wow. Look, I still want to be kind. I just wish that we had a little bit more text to describe these things. You're right. Your son's death was not fatal, and unlike many on their own, he is lucky to have you by his side. I can't give up on him. I just can't. I have conceded many times in my life, but giving up on my son is something I am incapable of. Well, that's good. New hint available. Beatrice refuses to acknowledge her son's suicidal tendencies. Oh, that's what we got from that? Uh, all right, how can we help with that? No, that's we have one more hint required Good, but maybe Mr. we can talk to Mortimer about this. Hey, do you know that your mother's kind of dense? Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay Your mother won't let you down Mortimer Don't you share her hope for a better future? No. I don't. Won't you even try? Do you want me to promise you I'll get better? Do you want me to tell her the same thing? I could, but it would not change anything. Uh, I wish we could pursue things further, but not really. Why did your mother have you hospitalized here? She seems convinced this is a bad hospital. My mother just wants the best for me. She won't rest while I'm here. She'd go all the way to hell and back to help me. That doesn't really answer my question. Why'd she put you at this hospital? 
if she thinks it's a bad hospital and you're like, oh, she'd do anything for me, such as put you in a bad hospital? Pembroke Hospital may look unorthodox, but rest assured you're in good hands here. It's not me you have to convince, Dr. Reed. It's my mother. I like how just because it almost seems as if we haven't been dealing with his suicide and suicide letter stuff. Is your mother bothering you? As your doctor, I can ask her to leave you alone if you would prefer. That's tempting, Doctor. But you have no idea what my mother is capable of. She would tie herself to my bed <laughs> if you asked her to leave. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, let's see if we can cure his fatigue, at least, later on. Actually, can I pursue the painful throat thing? How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all. Yeah, all right. I have to go now, sir. I'm all right. Don't waste all right. time with me. We'll come back and talk to him later on, hopefully. We can't help him if we can't actually go down the conversation routes that I would like to. But it's, uh... You are going to hard to deal with something like that. The life running in your veins. This dead flesh needs it. Oh, please so spare me, Dark Queen. And what of my spare own Spare your obedient slave. <laughs> Jesus, Thomas. All right, sorry to interrupt your fun times here, but we need to talk. Good evening, Miss Halcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. No, you don't. But did you know about... You know, the fact that you're being tracked by actual vampire hunters? It's impressive. I have made inquiries about the men who are tracking you, Miss Howcroft. I did not expect a mortal to have this sort of courage. Speak, Doctor. Why are they hunting me down? Uh, it was a misunderstanding. Nobody is searching for you. I want to, I want to just lie. I want to be like, they think that you truly are a vampire. They know. What kind of secrets you hide, Dark Witch? Ah! It was a misunderstanding. These hunters were in fact looking for a very different creature. But they mistakenly put their sights on you. I knew it! I have become undone. Those hunters have discovered me. But they don't know what I'm capable of. If you'll accept some advice from a petty mortal, I think you should assume a low profile and just quietly disappear into the shadows. You are right. And you have served me well, mortal. Take this as a reward for your time. Perhaps I will allow you to drink deep of my blood. One day. Thank you. I'll keep that proposition in mind. Watery rich blood sample? Jesus. Tell me about vampires. Tell me, Thelma. What do you really know about vampires? I saw one and he saw me. I watched him hunt and kill. I saw his terrible wounds heal as his victim died. And then I knew I was saved. You mean you actually saw a vampire? Here in London? Yes. And it has been the answer to my pain. I must drink and kill to regenerate my decaying body. I am a vampire too. Wow. Well, that's one way to, to think about that. You are a delusional woman. You could be in danger. I'm going to go for that. You have no idea what problems your claim could cause if heard by the wrong people, Miss Howcroft. You must stop this nonsense now. Why fear the truth? Strange things live in the dark, Dr. Reed. Strange and ancient beings that were here before this island even had a name. True that, true that, but, uh, you know, you're kind of throwing, throwing your vampire life away. Supposed vampire life away. If you keep on revealing that you're a vampire to everybody. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Jeez. All right, what about you? What do you think about this? Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Uh, let's see. Nothing new yet. Okay. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. <gasps> I wanted to talk to him about Hawthorne. Or Howcroft, not Hawthorne. Okay. What else are we trying to turn in? Here we go. We gotta go talk to Strickland. Track. Where is Strickland? He 
leaves you upstairs. Or down here. Ah, there he is. What can I oh. do for you, Doctor? Nothing. Thank you, Nuzgrim. <laughs> I talked to the wrong person. How long is it going to take to fix me properly? A month? A year? You have the right to disapprove of our methods, and you will kindly apologize when you're feeling better. Okay. Let's talk, buddy. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Yeah, your drug provider's dead. I located the shop, but it was vandalized, and the owner is missing. All I found was your order. I was afraid of such bad news. People are so desperate they're ready to burgle a shop for drugs. That's quite a list you ordered. Opium. Sodium hypochlorite. It can't be just headaches you're trying to cure. This dreadful influenza, of course. I already ran some tests on hopeless cases. Without success, I must admit. Do you realize you could create a lethal poison without the correct dosage? Then there are the legal ramifications. Is this not true of any medical substance, Dr. Reed? However, if you would agree to improve it, I'd be glad to accept your help. As long as you promise to be scrupulous with your experiments, I may try to gather these substances and even help improve upon the mixture. That's all I'm asking for, Dr. Reed. That's all I'm asking. All right, yeah, no, I'm done for helping out, making sure he doesn't end up killing people by accident. I want to know about these secret tests you run and if they can save people from this epidemic. Speak to me now, Thoreau. I know I may sound presumptuous, but I'm just following your steps, Dr. Reed. I'm casting away the shadows of ignorance by daring to face them. Self-confidence is essential in our line of work, my young colleague, but only if tempered with the correct amount of cynicism. But you never doubt yourself, Dr. Reed. I've read all your articles and books. You performed the most daring research during the war. Yeah, but you know what? I'm not gonna fight him on that. You have my support, Dr. Strickland. I know exactly what it feels like to battle an unknown disease with only your mind and force of will to help you. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You don't know what that means to me. Maybe he's gonna be useful for solving this epidemic. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Must we go? I can't let Strickland put his patients at risk with opium. Perhaps an adjusted formula will deliver more of a placebo effect. <laughs> Sorry, we're not actually making a much more improved ingredient. That disappoints me, but all right. So now we have to actually get the medicine and bring it back to our, me our medical desk. But we don't have those right now, I think. So, kinda gonna have to wait. Gonna have to put that off for a while. Strickland's project could be dangerous. I have a mind to report him to Dr. Ackroyd. Oh. I thought I was gonna be able to do something about it. The flower's dying. It needs water. Well, how do I get the water? There's water right here with no prompt. What is this? Oh! Oh wow, I missed this entirely. Dear Jonathan, I asked Nurse Crane to secure an office for you on the second floor. Please forgive the austere de de decoration, but Pembroke Hospital is not exactly the Ritz. Sorry to let you discover your office alone, but I need to sleep a little bit before going back to work. I'm just a mere mortal, after all. I also gave orders to let you rest, and for the staff to never enter your room. You will be able to sleep all day without being disturbed, and work at night without raising any suspicion. I'm afraid the place is quite messy, but you'll be able to conduct your experiments here at your own pace. You'll also notice there is an open window with a scaffolding that will allow you to enter or exit the hospital without being noticed. I imagine how awfully new and disturbing this all must be for you. Believe me, I have studied enough of your species to understand what you must now be facing and feeling. Be assured, I'll do whatever I can to help you in this ordeal. Know that you're not completely alone facing it. I'm glad I met you. These dark times we are all presently facing. I hope our future collaboration will yield great results. Welcome to Pembroke, my esteemed colleague. We shall talk soon. Yours sincerely, Edgar Griffith Swanser. P.S. I left a copy of some of my notes concerning what I've discovered about Econ in the last few years. Feel free to read about it if you need some guidance, as long as you don't use this knowledge to take advantage of me. <laughs> Alright. So he's the one who left that all that information there. Sure. So what do we want to do about this? I can either give the medicine to Thoreau, or report him to the guy with a stick in his ass. I think we're gonna go talk to Thoreau. 
and hope that this doesn't lead to any super negative consequences.